life hacks. Want your characters to age faster? How about you learn how the game works and do it yourself instead of complaining to me? Boing boing! But prisoners recruit too slowly. Make your life easier by thinking for yourself. You too can customize every single aspect of this game with a little lateral thinking and forethought by clicking the add part button and stat multiplier. Every single aspect of the game can be customized here. And guess what? This is totally base game. Well, I mean, technically, I need more to edit the scenario, but you can do it before you start the game. It's very simple. But of course, why do that when you can complain at me to do it for you? Do remember me rim rim we all rim rim here with ungus bungus and their lovely child disaster <laughs> and speaking of disaster i realized in hindsight that by removing semi-random research it didn't lock us to a particular tech level so it's back on the menu you know i can't be quitting you besides just playing rimworld for the sake of playing rimworld we are here to make sure that ungus bungus and chalk rock have everything they could ever possibly need in life you call it role play i call it doing my duty to these poor horrible people I've brought into this world. And what is Ungus Bungus sad about more than anything else? That's right. Low population. Ignore the other two. They don't really help my point. Ideologically, which I'm not sure is a word, both of them are upset about the lack of people. They've got a very tiny little tribe. Ungus Bungus together strong. So that's what we're going to try and solve today. It was a fresh new day for Ungus Bungus and Chuck Rock. Now, one thing I do like about having semi-random research back, and this is a, a dark route. I might not be able to put this genie back in the bottle. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm pointing off pressing the button because one of the first significant research we've got access to here is Bushido Code, Learn the Way of the Samurai. This could be the first ever weeb colony I make. I, I think there's more of an argument for primitive tools, to be completely honest with you. There's so much useful stuff, and we are kind of a Stone Age civilization, so making tools makes a lot more sense than suddenly becoming samurai. On the subject of research, the only change that hasn't gone into the recently updated version of the mod pack is a lot of people were saying that the research data mod didn't really fit, and I do agree it will work better in the later ages, but these people writing research papers, collecting samples, didn't really fit in this particular scenario, so I have taken that out. Ungus Bungus is a simple man. Love me rocks, love me wife, Love me berries. Love me dirty hole. And I do agree in hindsight that applied scientific theory is a little bit rich for a man who doesn't know what to not put his baby on the floor. Now, I am hoping in the future we'll get another big spider person because I've added so many different xenotypes. And one thing I've tweaked in the mod pack is that alien attraction is neutral. It's the same as any other two characters getting into a relationship. Imagine spider, mother, and dwarf father have horrifying mind spiders that can dig through your walls. Imagine it. Don't imagine it too much, it might scare you. We might get part goblin, part samurai. These are things that are all possible in this mod pack. Brotherhood of Steel fairies. I don't know. I don't make the rules, except I literally do. IT Stone, give Ungus your secrets. A couple of episodes back, I said that I'd let them name the rocks. The problem is no one's got the animal skill for the rocks, right? So I think I name the rocks. And I think the rocks deserves a name at this point, given that yesterday it helped out with the research. Mighty and sweet precious all knowing rocks. This is how animals become sacred. The rocks whispering to Ungus the secrets of... What are you doing with that flute? How strange. Um, whispering to Ungus the secrets of furniture. I think that deserves being, being elevated a little bit. Speaking of which, we need to make little baby disaster a crib, because if I'm not mistaken, Chuck and Ungus have another child on the way very soon. Where am I going to put a second crib? You people just don't think about these things, do you? You never consider the consequence of your actions. Ungus, we need hay cloth. You have to use a hay cloth to make the loom. How do I make hay cloth in the first place? It's probably a better question. We have crafting spots now. Um, hay cloth. There we are. We've 20 hay cloth. Oh, Christ. That was fast. Second to the third trimester. Ungus, I need your weaving. Actually, who's better at crafting? Uh, my good friend, Chuck Rock. Oh, they're both about the same. Uh, anybody, please. Just, just start weaving, for God's sake. Oh, my God. He is so slow. <laughs> oh my god, Ungus. You can have another 10 kids before you finish a single crib, you weird man. Ooh, shit, Chuck. Chuck, you're the cook. What's wrong with you? 8.35. Wow, it's like we're cooking out on a dirty cauldron. Rocks, what have I told you about standing in the cauldron? I mean, then again, you do know best. I can't argue with the all-knowing rocks. Hey, can we actually build that crib now? I think that's all we needed, right? Because we've got plenty of hay. Ooh! Why would you do a thing like that, huh? Oh, no, that's not my fault. I thought that would... I thought that was an overlap, because look, it's slightly off-center. Oh, for God's sake. Well, I'll, uh, we can rebuild the bed. That's fine. That's okay. Ungus. You can't blame Ungus, okay? Oh, he's such a silly guy. That sweet little Ungus. He's just trying his best, and you really shouldn't judge him too hard. It's, a, it's an easy mistake to make. Maybe I'd have made the same mistake. Ungus has also gotten food poisoning. This is a disaster. 
I see what you've called that. Look, look, see the, the haste, the, the, the crib's slightly off center. You can't blame me for that. I think this is probably a great time for Ungus to do a little prototyping and try and actually build a stone axe or a stone mallet or whatever else, just to some basic tools here. So I presume like the bone saw, tree chopping speed, that's good. Tree chopping speed, 20%, sharp damage plus 10%. Oh, that's cool. Flint adds, flint sickle. Stone hammer gives construction speed. I think that one might be slightly more useful. Ungus, make hammer. Ungus is going to have to find a way to get some chunks before we can do that, though. My friend, you might be on mining duty, so don't be too upset about losing that mining skill. Digging spot yields mud and sand. That's not quite what I'm after. There's two digging spots. Hold on a second. Only I decide who digs and who dies. We have a single digging spot now. So this one won't give the, the clay that the last one gave, but you can take the mud and turn that into clay. And this clay acts as the same as the other clay you got from the other mod. Wow. A magical time. And speaking of a... Oh, good God. A magical time. Disaster. Oh, my God. The geeses! <laughs> wow. Disa what, what kind of coincidence was that? Disaster became a child old enough to walk around, and then all the goose hatched. I mean, what would you think at this point if you were Ungus or Chuck? You suddenly wake up, your child can walk around and fend for itself, and there are three geese in the room. This is how legends are born. Or more specifically, this is how geese are born. Disaster. Disaster. Her title is Gooseborn. It's so perfect. Can we tame the geese? I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody's got any good animal handling. Maybe this is what we could train disaster in, right? I wonder if we could get to the level where we get some early learning going and just have her train in in becoming better with animals. Maybe we could even get her a passion for it. Maybe she is gooseborn. I mean, look at her hair. She was naturally born with thrombo white hair, despite the fact neither of her parents have thrombo white hair. And look. She has almost, I would say, a goose-like haircut. You see, there's its wing, there's its its face and its happy little mouth and its tail. <laughs> no, you're right. I've never seen a goose before. Thank you for asking. Now, Disaster, who presumably is now capable of speaking, is upset because she hasn't got any clothes. So I think first things first, Ungus, this is your job, my friend. Let's start actually learning how to make clothes. Oh, Disaster's got food poisoning as well. I, I like the idea that, that desperation breeds innovation, right? We're going to start crafting clothes for the first time ever because disaster has no clothes. Everybody's got food poisoning and look at how slow they're working. Maybe this is where they start to piece things together that these meals are starting to poison them. This is nice. This is a nice little family bonding moment. And at long last, some clothes for disaster. You can put those on. You can put those on. They were, they were kids tribal wear. And once again, the rocks giveth. The rocks... Well, I mean, really just the rocks give it. The rocks hasn't taken anything from us. It's a kind, all-knowing, fancy rocks. It's a holy rocks. It is a holy rocks who gives us everything we could need. As long as, of course, everything we need is occasionally some wool. Oh, disaster. I'm so sorry. Let's work on it then. So I think maybe they will have pieced together at this point. We need to start not rubbing our food in the dirt. Let's throw down a little house expansion. We're just going to go... We're just going to go nothing massive, nothing major, nothing silly. Shit. Man hunting pack of sand leapers. What on earth are sand leapers? Two of them, so we should be okay. I mean, everybody does have food poisoning. A desert rodent related to the common surface rat. Oh, well, that's not too bad at all. I see them now. They're like little, little mole fellas. Disaster, if you're old enough to walk, you're old enough to... Please take that person out of the dirty hole. How many times do I have to say this? You're old enough to fight a rat. Um, Take this stick. Again, I think desperation breeds innovation should be our, our mantra for the whole playthrough. We're probably going to need some better defenses. We're probably going to need ways to fight off these these horrible things that are out to kill us. Ungus has got to protect his family now. Where are those rats? God, this is a big old jungle. I'm not sure where they've gone. Careful. Careful. Chop, throw some terrorism. <laughs> no other situation would that make any sense. Ah! They managed to bite disaster. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. It's a minor setback. This is exactly the type of situation where if she dies of a horrible infection, Ungus just goes berserk and we become fully militarized. I would live for that idea. Not that I want disaster to die. I would never intentionally do that. Thank you. How are you looking? You're both okay? You're bitten on the foot. You're bitten on the leg. Worst case scenario, we amputate both. I would really rather not, given that we're getting food poisoning from the uh, sanitary conditions of our house. Uh, oh, what is that? Well, you see that? That said something about... About herbal medicine efficacy trials? What was that? Crazy. Okay. They seem fine. I certainly hope so, because I don't think Chuck's cut out for the whole amputation thing. Ooh. What is that that just came out of that tree? Amber. Oh, cool. Hardened gem of fossilized tree resin. Come made mine for its natural yellowish orange hue and is often used for ornaments and decorations. Oh my god, and look at all this stuff. Amber banner. We've got amber. Was that amber weaponry? Amber rings, amber necklace. This makes perfect sense. Oh my god, Chuck's in labor again. 
Chuck. <laughs> Chuck, I can't keep up with this stuff. Go lie down. Go lie down. What are you doing? Go, 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 go. Nice. There we go. There we go. There we go. The whole family's here. What is that you've drawn on the floor? Is it a little, little slug thing? Please, that is shit. That is just awful. Have you ever seen a slug before? I could do better than that. Looks like we went through intense to debilitating. I, I think we've got a lot of good reasons now for better medical, better food, being a bit more careful about why you're drawing. Yeah, please, disaster. Your mother kind of needs a bit of moral support here, fella. We got up to the uh, progress bar part of the pregnancy. You know, like in real life. Ooh. <gasps> Upon the arrival of his newborn, Ungus is excited about becoming a parent and has developed the fast walker trait. Yeah, no, you do need to be quicker than most people. Well, apparently you already are quicker than most people. Baby has been given the temporary name Baby Bungus. Baby Bungus. Macy Bungus. Let's go for the randomizer. I, I like some of the uh, some of what the game is putting down here. Gert Bungus was so good. No, I've got to have Gert Bungus. <laughs> Chase Bungus. And then for the nickname, I think we wait. We hold off on the nickname. Somebody in the comments did point out that commonly children weren't named. So they got past the first couple of winters, you know, because of the implication. Maybe much like disaster, you will end up Gooseborn. Maybe there'll be some sort of life event that we can name you after instead. Oh my God. We've got another raid. We've got brigands. Right. Because we've got three actual colonists now, right? Hello. Tico Scott is a baseliner from... Just a band of brigands. This might be our first new recruit. Actually, quite good at plants. Lots of plants potential here. Let's get to work. Bungus and Disaster are going to have to defend the homestead. It's like Apocalypto. We're going to fight off all these goddamn brigands coming onto our land. Oh my god, and they've definitely got much better weapons than us. What are you wearing? Coif sackcloth. Okay, so he's a little more defended too, and he's got a big old lead bludgeon. Okay, um, we could always give it a go. Go for the stamp. And then, uh, let's, let's go, just go stand next to him. Bungus, Bungus! You killed him. <laughs> okay. I have nerfed the execution rates, as I am one to do, because they are very overpowered. Uh, turns out Ungus didn't give a shit. And to be fair, I mean, that makes perfect sense within the story, right? He's not just going to let some some random raider come in while his, his pregnant wife is, is debilitated and, and out of action. His newborn daughter is like right there. He put, put her somewhere safe. Please do. And I'm pretty sure Disaster just ate a loaf of bread. So if anything's going to inspire them to try and work a little bit more on that. I think I've justified it enough. I think we've got enough justification. Let's slap down something for... I guess like a proper kitchen. We've got a stone butcher table that might make some sense. What else we got here? Brick oven. We're going to have to either make it out of flint or I guess we can make some adobe bricks or something like that. We've got a drying rack. It's for hide though. Shit, we might have to do some more research first. How do you mean primitive tools? That's a chainsaw, my brother. Chainsaw Mark IV. How the hell is that a primitive tool? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we can't get it for a long time away yet. Well, foraging for resources, Chuck found a... What? Oranosaurus egg. You didn't also find an Oranosaurus again, did you? I think we're safe. Oh, God, because the berry bushes count as foraging, right? Because they're, they're freaking berry bushes. Oh, no. <laughs> we should be quite careful with that. I mean, we need to be prototyping more because it's the fastest way to do the research. So I want to make uh, whatever tools we need. What was it? Like a stone hammer? The mining spot only has coal chunks or so. I guess, Ungus Bungus, you're going to have to do things the old-fashioned way. We need some rocks, my friend. My God, the one time I want chunks. And we've only got, <laughs> we've only got two of them so far. We need shitloads of these, right? If we if it's one chunk per tool. A level 13 mining there. you got to remember my guy is uh, he's pretty strong. And a fast walker, too. So the journey doesn't really matter either. I I think I'll do. I think I'll do Ungus Bungus. Let's do some prototyping quickly. Might as well have him bring one back while he's over in the area. Oh my god, that's going to take forever. Okay, you know what? Do it when you wake up, my friend. That could be an all-day type of job. To be fair, this is the first tool ever created by the hands of Ungus. This is a big occasion. And this is a man who knows how to use his hands. <laughs> Given that he's had two kids over the course of about three weeks. In here, how long have you been here? 24 days. Amazing work. I think for the time being, disaster's probably all right where she is. I think eventually, very realistically, she's going to start complaining about having to share a room with Ungus and Chuck and Bungus. Uh, baby Bungus, that is. So I think this other building that we started work on for Spider-Man, I think she could have that. That could be her little home. I mean, maybe while she's young, she gets like uh, just another uh, room on the, on the edge of this building instead. Lithium ore. Where did that land? Oh, still too far away to be a, a magic worshipful rock. The Hunted Daimyo. Why are you pushing me towards Weeb series with everything you do? Kenta Jin, a daimyo of the Eastern Dynasty, has come from nearby. He's been hunted by a man-hunting Diplocolcus. Call, call us. 
Jin wants you to keep him safe at Bungus for a few hours until the shuttle can come and pick him up. We could go for it. It will make us an apostle of the Eastern Dynasty. Presumably, given what they mean by he's calling from nearby, they mean he's like actively screaming somewhere and we can we can hear him. Is Ungus the type of person that would help out? Are you particularly kind? Are you kind of apathetic? You probably wouldn't care. Chuck is an undergrounder. She does have healing hands, though, so she might want to try and help someone. Oh, it's a hard choice. I don't think they would care. I feel like I feel like Ungus being apathetic means he wouldn't really care if there's somebody nearby screaming. It's a hard life out here. That's not making it so. What the hell are you doing there? What's he? Oh, he's making throwing rocks. Oh my god, for Chuck Rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. What about the boomerang, though? I can't get rid of a boomerang called terrorism. We could give it to Baby Disaster. I feel like I, I, I feel like our mother giving her her, her kind of signature weapon. I quite like that. Dad's giving her a stick, and her mother's like, no, no, that's just not good enough, okay? You can't be using a stick to fight off people. You're getting up close and personal. That's too dangerous. Ooh, hello. Nesting dinosaurs have set up near Bungus. They'll remain until their eggs hatch. You can ignore them. Or we can go out there and steal dinosaur eggs. You know, I think I'm okay. I would also not really class that as being near Bungus. Oh my god, bro, you are the slowest man in the world. Why? Work speed 25%. You know what? I think that's probably fair enough. We could build a primitive tool table, but I do feel like we should probably finish primitive tools first. Ungus. Ungus has stayed up all night through. He's suffering from moderate malnutrition because he's just so set on making this tool. My skin is stretching over my bones. Am I going to die? You'll be fine, Ungus. Just see it through. My god. No, don't eat the person. Holy shit. We're not that desperate. My god. Maybe we are that desperate. There's berries right there. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? And there it is. It started at 30% because it's a prototype. It is poor quality and heavily damaged. This is basically the worst tool you could have ever made. But my god, it is the first ever tool ever made. Well done, Ungus Bungus. I remember when we were cooking meals at that stove, right? And I couldn't reinstall it. So I took it apart because I was like, we can build another one. Uh, that's behind research now. Research that we don't have. So, um... That's kind of my bad. A kiln would make some sense. Granite blocks. Hey, we could we could make some blocks. Make any stone blocks. Yeah, let's do it. In fact, we've got shale, haven't we? Ooh, ooh, or maybe we make adobe bricks. Hot temperatures will make the drying faster. Rain will destroy them, so be careful where you leave them. Oh, cool. So we make them, and then we have to let them let them dry for a while. That's fine. We'll just keep them indoors. Oh, I did the wrong one. Shit. No, 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 no. Put that indoors. Put that indoors. Put that indoors. I think that said ruined in eight hours. Hey, there you go. Drying in 11 hours because it's good temperature in here, right? 26 degrees C. That's fine. That's a pretty easy way to, uh, to start building some proper buildings, I think. I'm hoping we can use these for the kiln then. Otherwise, we haven't really got any way to start cooking. Ungus. Ungus, you're pushing yourself too far for your family. This is no good, my friend. You can't be working all day every day at the same spot. It would drive anybody insane. <laughs> and that's it. I think they're dry now, right? Kiln. Oh, this is the best day of my life. Used for producing pottery, ceramics, and adobe. That seems like a pretty good start. Let's slap one of those down. Maybe not indoors. Oh, maybe indoors. And then I also want to make a brick oven if we can. A fire brick to make them usable. No, no, no. I need like an oven for... No, I need like an oven for, for food oven. Oh, and the other one's a medieval kiln. We can't do anything with that one. No, I need like an oven for bread, not an oven for bricks. We can't be eating bricks now because we can make some alternate. There's some alternate methods here of making the adobe bricks. We can fire them, I guess, that, that way we don't have to wait for them to dry. That's kind of cool. We can make all the different sculptures, pedestals, that type of thing. Stone pots for storage might be slightly more convenient than a dirty hole because then we can actually see what we've got. Oh, and then in theory, oh, primitive tool tables. Can we build two of those? Because I need all the work speed bonuses I can get. One more bench may use two tool tables. Perfect. So we need to cut a few more bricks into flint. Chuck has renamed throwing rocks to Agony Ash. I think Chuck might be a little bit of a psychopath. Uh, hello? Grigna Grignison? A child named Boozax is crashing in a transport pod nearby. I've got to, right? We don't know anything about them. I didn't look at them first, and maybe I should have, but they've got paralytic amnesia, so 30 days of looking after them. Bear in mind, people age 18 times faster, 16 times faster, whatever I set it to. They're going to be quite old by the time they're able to walk, but it is a child. It's a seven-year-old child. Hello. Oh. Oh, my God. Hello, little Boozax. You bought me a pickaxe. I'll take that one for free. Oh. Child of Goujon. Communal. Psychically deaf. Underground. Fine. You're a stoneborn. 
Oh, cool. Well, of course you'd spawn him with a pickaxe. We don't do stereotypes here. The game did that for me. Uh, I, I think it's, it's very justifiable that they would have seen that drop pod falling down. And then they'd be wondering what the hell was even there. Before you ask, no, they would definitely not have seen the rocks falling from the sky. How dare you? Um... Let's go, let's go rescue them fast then. Look, the only problem is they're seven years old. They've got paralytic abasia for 36 days. So if they age 18 times as fast, you're going to be like, I, uh, you're going to be probably like 120 years old by the time that you're, <laughs> by the time you're capable of joining us. Don't check the maths on that, okay? I was making it up. The point is their, their childhood learning is going to be totally ruined by it. This is actually going to take forever. That's 22% works, but what's this one? 35%. So let's put this one indoors. Oh, there's not enough room for this. Maybe this is where Ungus, I, I mean, this is the guy who stayed up for a day solid to make a single axe. Maybe he realizes, hang on, I'd be able to focus a little bit better if only I was indoors. Poor people dare attack Bungus. Uh, I mean, Ungus. I mean, but House Bungus, right? Because they're collectively all, all Bunguses except for Boozax. Uh, hello, my friend. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell is even that? <laughs> I have to capture you, don't I? You have to join the colony. I haven't got a choice. Ignat Rhodes. Oh, Lord. If I could maybe just bounce a rock off your head, take you prisoner. I think we can manage it. Disaster, stay there. Your parents have something to do. Oh, my God. We've also got visitors. Don't kill them. Don't kill that. Don't kill that cat person. Hello. We've got, we got elves from the Eastbourne Empire. Nice to see you. Oh, elf dwarf child. No, that sounds horrendous. I could never do such a thing. That sounds illegal. Hello. How you doing? Okay, get him. I don't want to kill them, though. Be careful with that axe. Oh, it's, it's a... <laughs> it meows. <laughs> it's gonna wipe us out. Um. Oh, zero percent chance of killing it. Go, 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 go. Ungus, Ungus, Ungus. Go. Pocket sand. Hit it over the head. Okay. Okay. I've got myself a cat person. Bear in mind, it was like fully armored though, right? Look at this. Bronteraldic Hogberg, and then Dine Splintered Gloves, Blind Boo Fly by Hose, Steel Splintered Shorses. Sh sh I don't know. I don't play chivalry. Wow. Um, that was a bit of a mess, huh? Been scratched to bits by this bloody cat disaster. I need to come grab your mother. Uh, Ungus. We capture Ignat. Or would Ungus take revenge and, and kill? No, Ungus is kind of apathetic. I think he's just a force of nature more than like, uh,. More than like a person who's emotional. I haven't researched emotion yet, okay? I'm gonna slap down a sleeping spot and I'm gonna imprison this cat person. We're about to invent uh, recruitment. Uh, who's our next best doctor? Because we got I got some bad news here. Oh, Jesus, it's Ungus. <laughs> Good luck. Well, at least we got some herbal medicine, I suppose. Weeb elves. Oh, Lord. Steel O Dutchie. You are elves, right? Yeah, I just saw the xenotype symbol and thought that might be the case. Low fertility. Oh, dear. Fragile healing. Elven ears, youthful, evasive, strong arcane affinity. Whoa. Ongus renamed Stone Hammer to the Shark. We can't keep every weapon. I feel like the sharpened stick, uh, that was the first kind of tool ever made by our civilization. That one's worth it, but everything's going to get a name. And I don't think that... I don't think it's right. We can change the length before they auto rename it. If we set it to about 37 days... That's roughly, because they're 18 times faster, 37 times 18 is like 660 or something, six, like 664, something like that. So that's roughly 10 years. If you use the same weapon nonstop for 10 years, I, I, and of course, from their perspective, by all means, rename the bloody thing. That seems like a pretty good idea. Is Chuck going to be okay? Maybe depending on if Chuck's okay or not depends on how we treat the prisoner. Because I feel like if this cat scratches her to death and gives her all sorts of horrible infections, which she might end up getting here, maybe then we go ahead and we slap that cat around a bit. Maybe then Ongus becomes slightly less apathetic. Thank you, disaster. Oh, Chuck's already back up. Chuck's already back up. She can self 10 now. Ongus Bungus, how are you doing? You almost lost the whole left arm. 5%. Oh, 5% dead quality. What do you do? Smear some dirt in it? For fuck's sake. We will tend you and then we'll decide what we do with you depending on, I think, how our people come out. This could be a big defining moment for the rest of the ideology, like treat your prisoners poorly because they will murder your people. Ooh, a gift from the Eastborn Empire. Fay cap and a smoke bomb. What on earth is a fay cap? Just like a, like a hat? Oh. Oh, hello. Yeah, Chuck can go put that on. She hasn't got anything fancy yet. Ooh, look at that. Oh, what a kind gift. Hey, I like the Eastbourne Empire. The Eastbourne Empire and the Fae tribes, 
the elves and the fairies have been very, very kind to us. Maybe it's because clearly we're so harmonious with nature. We've got a big old field full of <laughs> mushroom bugs. And of course, we are the guardians of the all-knowing rocks. So maybe they respect the rocks much as I respect the rocks. Okay, what do we have the choice of now then? Bushido code, basic crop rotation, food preservation, fish trap... Ooh, or agriculture. So I made semi-random research a little more generous. For every two colonists you add to the colony, you get an extra research project. That way, we've got a nice middle ground between having a little bit of choice, but also being driven towards a certain way that maybe I wouldn't normally pick. Uh, fishing, though? We've got a pond right here. You can make an argument for agriculture, I think. Maybe inventing that first might make sense, especially given there's like 10 research. It'll take like two seconds. Wow, it really did, huh? <laughs> okay. Uh, mushroom mastery. Oh. But we, we don't have like a cave or anything. How am I going to do anything with that? Fungaponics basin. Oh, shit. We'd have to live in a cavern to really make that work. Though that would have been very, very cool with the fungal bugs that we had turning up. That would have been kind of perfect. I don't think we can really do much with that out here, right? Ah, crop rotation, food prep. Let's go fishing. Honestly, let's, let's go for fishing. Why not? We'll just build some fish traps. We're not going to actually stand there and fish all day because we've done that before. I mean, like conceptually across Rimworld series, I've done that lots. Uh, this is a different time. It's all about testing new things and new ideas. Before I forget then, Ignat wrote, what's wrong with Boozax? Boozax, you fine? Uh, uh, just the paralytic abasure. Is that what you're worried about? You, you've already gained a year uh, since you've been here and you've done absolutely nothing else. Yeah, was life, isn't it? Ignat, what can we do with you, my friend? We've got the option to knowledge extract. Whoa. Extract new useful knowledge relating to the current research project. That's cool. Because they are a technically a more advanced faction than us, right? Even though they are just medieval. Convert and recruit Hemogen Farm. Maybe not. Uh, honestly? Maybe we go for it. They are upset, right? Ultimately, they are upset that they haven't got a very big colony. So I think it's fine. Maybe next time we re-roll. Because, I mean, fish trap good. I think, though, I would prefer, like, some more useful shit like actual furniture. <laughs> you idiot. You actual idiot. I didn't realize it had a much higher failure rate like this. Ah, there you go. It's about to fall apart, but you know what? I'll take it. Ungus inventing fish. Maybe we should get those bodies out there. You know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They don't understand any sort of like viral infection. They don't understand the concept of, like Legionnaire's disease or brain eating amoeba. That's for the future. That's for the future. It's a much less anxiety filled life when you just don't care about the rotten bodies being in your food supply. No, stop this. Stop this! <laughs> I got two different Japanese mods eking their way into my research screen. Oh god. You're gonna force him to be Ungus Bungus the weeb. Un Hokage Ungus Bungus? Next you'll have me recruiting cat people. Oh god, it's already happened. I'm gonna reroll. I'm gonna reroll for now. You've given you've given me straight back. You've taken it away and you've handed me the same thing back. Tribal water crafting. Oh, cool. Advanced passive cooler. Uses berries as fuel. Oh, that's good. So I don't understand, but that's fine. Slow burn torch lamp and then water tanks just in case everything catches fire. We haven't had any problems with fire yet. I feel like they wouldn't care. They invented fire. Why would they want to put out fire? You've got to think about these things. Herbalism. Herbalism's good, though. Because everybody's been sick today with, with various different levels of food poisoning. Ongus and Chuck have been scratched a bit by a cat person. This is good. I like this one. You've got to put the sensible things. The all-knowing rocks giveth. The all-knowing rocks, you never know if we anger it. Might take it away. Bungus became a child. Bungus, sweet Bungus. Oh my god, you've also got white hair. Remain colonist. Yeah, by all means. What's going on with that, I wonder? Thrombo white hair. Thrombo white hair. She's got blonde hair. He's... Oh, Ungus is supposed to have thrombo white hair, but he doesn't, though. Blessed Ungus. Secretly a thrombo in disguise. Maybe he's just such a stinky caveman. He hasn't washed his hair in a while. Who knows? Oh, look at them. Little baby Gert Bungus. I heard it from Thrombo people makes a lot of sense, given that animals have pretty much guided us exactly where we need to be. What? <laughs> they seem to have a herd of... What I think are toads. They seem to have a, a herd of toads. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not really in the business for toads. Thank you. The all-knowing rocks greets our Thrombo friends. Welcome. Welcome, nice to see you all. Welcome to the colony. Ungus, come and introduce yourself. Let's go and see what they've actually got for sale. Again, we can't really do anything with it, unfortunately. Oh, look at that thing. Omu, a massive insect species commonly found in the toxic forest, often used by Norstic clans as a pack animal. 
Whoa. Highly intelligent creatures. We can buy a bunch of fertilized toad eggs, which I'm not really sure I want, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I can't do anything with any of this. I really wish we had somebody good at animal handling. You, you weren't good at animal handling, were you? Melee construction mining plants. Brilliant. They did leave us a gift. A fungal wooden Jumanji Yari. Why are you doing this? They are forcing me to become a weeb. They're forcing us into weebdom. That is a much sharper stick than what Ungus could ever craft. It's, a, it's such a sharp stick. I don't think I can avoid it. I've been dodging it left, right, and center, but I don't think we can avoid it. Ungus Bungus, is this the power of the Eastbourne Empire? Are we going to have to send it and start looking into this for research? Maybe this is a very inspirationally sharp stick. To Bungus, to little baby Gert Bungus, we give the frog. Don't lose that. Don't break that. For God's sake, that is older than you are. Uh, but I mean, how many more times can I re-roll the research? Till I accept them. Maybe we've just got to go for it, right? Because I, I don't normally play with mods like this because uh, they're bait, let's be honest. Very well made. Very good. But they appeal to a certain demographic that I don't really consider myself part of. Uh, but they're right there and they do look really cool. Growth moment for disaster. Jesus, you are so... You're aging so quickly, you're already seven. Ungus Bungus is 31. Chot Rock is 31. Boozax is nine and has so far done nothing. And then Gert Bungus, who was born today, three years and 21 days. Holy crap. So we can get for you. I really, really want to try and get uh, Disaster. Bungus, it's not Bungus. I, I really want to get Disaster Animal Handling, preferably. Melee Intellectual Medical. Um, oh, We've got to go Melee, right? She maybe gets it from a gets it from a dad, and then choose a trait for disaster to gain: ignorant, nearsighted, restful, or congenital analgesia. Um, she can't experience psychic phenomenons. Restful, rest rate multiplier plus twenty five percent. Ooh, that's really good. She sleeps like a baby. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do her a solid here, and I'm gonna give her that as a gift because my God, you, ch I sure think I hope you would be sleeping like a baby at this point because that's horrific. <laughs> <laughs> and then immediately you slap me with a psychic drone. How could you do a thing like that? Well, I did say my plan for today was let's grow this colony. And grow this colony they seem very interested in doing. We've got Ungus Bungus himself. We've got Chuck. We've got Disaster. We've got little baby Gert Bungus. We have Boozax, who's going to join us in another 31 days. Maybe I'll lower Paralytic Abasia in a mod setting because that's, uh, that might be a little bit too much. You know, you got to try and balance things for the fast raging after all. And then, one day, potentially, Ignat Rhodes sat there waiting to be recruited, slowly being converted first, of course. Wow. I, I think growing this colony, we absolutely have done. Am I going to bite the bullet? I'll take some feedback in the comments on this front. Maybe we start going into Edo era buildings. Maybe we try and focus on some more important research first. You could argue watercrafting is more important. But again, I want that desperation to be the driving factor for innovation. I don't think right now we've had any problems with fire at all. So much that I think they wouldn't even put any brain power into it. They haven't even got a concept of the base burning down. And as we all know, when your base is burnt down once, you would never make the mistake of not building a fire foam popper again. Thank you for joining me. Like I said, slower burn, but I think we're going to be rewarded with one of the most in-depth colonies we've ever had, because we are starting from absolute scratch this time. Not even the most beginning basic research. You've got to remember, everything's quite slow right now. We're working at kind of 25% re regular work speed. As soon as that stuff's dealt with, we're going to start moving at a much faster, more consistent pace as well, but this is the this is the important stuff. This is the early base building stuff, and, and the early colony building stuff that's going to define us for the rest of time, so... Stick with it, I think. And, of course, whenever the episode goes live, I try and get an update, whatever I've kind of changed between yesterday and today, changing some of the stuff and, and fixing things, whatever's been reported. So thank you, everybody over on Discord who's been reporting that. Keep throwing them at me, and I'll keep fixing it. Thank you to Juseda, Shinjian, Evan Crocker, Kairobi, Black Magic, Overly Expressive, Unwise Planes, Cashless, Commissar, JK, Cole Bacon, Blizzard, 4, 337, Delusional Khan, Ravenlock, Asimov's Train Ride, Sajuk 1986, David Gurman, Jack Higgins, Nash EQ, Ivory Squart, Time Waster, Kira, Complex Quanta, Hawk C120, L Scorcho82, and Jinxie Cat for their support of the executive producers over on Patreon. Thank you. One day I will name many of the patrons after our colonists. But of course it's not today, because we we haven't really technically got anybody new, right? Besides little baby bungus. I think for the main family. For Ungus's descendants, we'll stick to that naming scheme of when they do something cool or something miraculous happens around their birth or something like that. We'll stick to that kind of naming scheme. Everything else, though, we'll keep we'll keep free reign, I think, for a while. Thank you as well for um, uh, to to uh, 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 uh. thank you as well to Romario Z Audio nine five one. 
Kuta Kuti, Detective Google, Pumbly, Avalka, The Merp, Alcatraz Gaming Stuff, Elkel, Erotha, Runa, Tenacious Bloom, Betamus Max, Ineffective Guavara, Rhino3333, Textrian, Cameran, Cinder Sind, and Jammer212. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you all tomorrow. A little bit more Ungus Bungus. This is a good series. I'm enjoying playing this one. Nice and relaxed.